incident, the black Hebrew Israelites. Here they are in Washington, D.C., yelling at the high school students. A bunch of child molesting all these dusty crackers with that racist garbage on. That's right. A bunch of incest babies. The biggest terrorist on the face of this earth is the pale face man, woman, and child. The black Hebrew Israelites are described as a black nationalist hate group with militant overtones. They believe blacks are the true descendants of the biblical Israelites, and many of their sects are anti-white. Many here on the East Coast are pretty familiar with the group who dress up in robes and preach their teachings on street corners. I happened to catch up with them in Philly about two years ago. President Trump, how are you feeling about it? How do I feel about President Trump? I think that white people put in off put Trump in office, and that was the man that they wanted him to, to rule over their people. Right. But I think black people, Hispanics and Native Americans, have a king that they need to obey. Right. And this is what my power said. Read Acts 5 and 29. Acts chapter 5 and 29. Then Peter and all the apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Joining me now, Katriel Ben Israel, a former teacher at Kol Sharit Binyai Nas Israel. I don't think I got the pronunciation exactly correct, but I did my best. Now, you heard the sound coming from people in your organization yelling at these high school students. Do you think that was appropriate? Well, first of all, um, that organization uh, that you speak of is not uh, representative of the whole nation of Israel. We're descendants uh, by seed, by heritage of this people called Yisrael. So you <clears throat> condemn these people that were hurling that kind of hateful language at the students? Well, I don't know if it was quite hateful. Like it wasn't this. quite hateful. Mm -hmm. Crackers, well, incest we, babies, child molesters. Uh, what do you consider that, love? Well, they have a way and style that they bring their message to the people. That's uh, What's that message, though? That's a hateful message. Uh... That's their style. That's their style, and it's pretty hateful. Come on, you're, you're a I'm smart not hateful. Man. I'm an Israelite, but I'm not hateful. Okay, well, that was pretty hateful. I think you would agree that was hateful language. There's a lot of hate in America that's not really initiated by what you want to say, Israelite groups like that. But you wouldn't agree with me that that was hateful language directed at the Covington boys by this black Israelite group? I don't, I don't know what initiate group? that. What did the... What did the uh, conversation bring forth uh, okay listen I haven't seen all of the video mm -hmm. I've just seen what was said to the Covington boys we didn't see anything coming from the other side directed at the right, black so Israelites this is basically slanted we don't know why they responded in the way they did you just give me one side of the story so okay um, is it okay to disparage other ethnicities in the black Israelite group well you keep calling it a group uh, every nation Religion. has... It's not religion, it's his nationality. Okay, is, is your nationality okay with disparaging other racial groups? No, not at all. Okay, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. Yes. Um, is there a problem right now with the black Israelites? Did, are they angry at something specific? What's the beef? Well, from my perspective, we've been in captivity for 400 years. We've been denied, denied our heritage, our land. Uh, what rightfully belongs to us as a people. We've been here for 400 years. We've had uh, miseducation in regards to what belongs to us nationally or ethnically uh, as servants to this, this country. So what belongs to you specifically? Specifically, what belongs to us is the land. In, in America? No. In Israel? Absolutely. Okay, so you here and are in America and you want the land in Israel to be given back to you? Absolutely. Because you believe it's rightfully yours? Absolutely. Okay, so you, you probably have to fight with the Palestinians over that. Well, it's a fight. Because they think it's theirs still. So a lot of people think it's theirs, but prophecy says the children of Israel will return to their land from the scattered places that we've been scattered. Okay. Um, your group has been called a hate group? Well, you keep saying my group. The children of Israel came over here in slave ships, and we're in churches, we're in mosques, we're in various religious doctrines that have been perpetrated on us as a captive slave body of people. And this process of awakening to know who we are, our roots are, uh, has taken on many factions. And basically, 
they've been formulated into religious concepts where ethnically, nationally, we're descendants by uh, seed, by heritage, by birth okay. of the nation of Israel. All right, so in general, not talking about Covington right now, but in general, mm -hmm. do you have a problem with white Americans wearing Make America Great Again hats? Not at all. Not at all. Well, that incident um, highlighted what the problem is with America today because you have Native Americans who are speaking out in regards to what? What transpired with them? And what transpired with them? They were pushed on reservations. They, they lost their lands. Then you had the Israelite group who we've been brought here by slavery, forced against our will, and given doctrines that don't even belong to us. And we've lost everything. And then you have the... Um, Christian school that was there and they have a right to speak as well. Okay. I do think some of your members are giving you guys a bad name. Let's just watch some just mm -hmm. recordings of some of the language that you guys have been using. Roll the tape. That's right. Y'all are going into slavery for enslaving so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You got all right. right. That's what the Bible say, all right? So y'all can sit up here and listen. Y'all can take it as a joke. But guess what? All the atrocities that was done to our people, it's going to be done to you times two. All the conversation. Hey, that's right. Hey, that is uncalled shit. Get out of here. That's right. All right, so that's pretty aggressive, uh, mm -hmm. rhetorically and physically. So the woman on the ground there. Um, this is representative of that nationality. Anytime anybody hears about the black Israelites, that's what they think of. Now, I know you're saying that, you know, they don't speak for everybody, but they actually do, because that's all everybody sees. Well, you could say that about the Ku Klux Klan and neo-Nazis and skinhead as well. Does that represent you? Do you believe it does? Well, not really. Just like you shouldn't believe what they're saying represents all Israelites. So you would compare that sect that has been, you know, pretty aggressive with mm -hmm. the language and physically, you would compare them to the Klan? No, not at all. No? Not at all. So you don't believe that black Israelites are superior to any other group? You think everybody's equal? Absolutely. We're, okay. all, we're all nations on the earth. Okay. We made our mistakes, and we paid for it. And every other nation is going to do the same thing. If you become immoral and corrupt and decay, there's a price to pay. Uh, lastly, what do you think about this uh, Nathan Phillips, this, uh, this Indian activist who was banging the drum? I think he has a right to speak his mind and stand up for his people. Uh, his you, land, his language, indeed. his culture has been taken away violently. Uh, and they have every right like everybody else that's here, to uh, speak their minds. Okay. Do, I mean, do you think that the, uh, you know, the son should pay for the sins of the father? Uh, yes. Okay. So if, if my father, you know, shot someone, I should pay the price? If he's still in a crime family, yes. Okay. What about someone's great-great-great-great-great-grandfather shot an Indian who shot at him with a bow and arrow? You think they should pay the price? The great-great-great-great-great-great-grandson? Uh, if that people is being denied what rightfully belongs to them, then something has to be done. All right. Well, we disagree on that. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming in. No problem. All right.